I go through so many batteries when I'm out and about filming and stuff, and I've lost count of how many charges I'm using, and I also wait to the very last minute before an event to charge everything I need to. I've finally decided to simplify that process by making my own custom charging area for all my video and photography gear. After doing a little bit of research, I knew I didn't need a huge pegboard, but I needed it to be metal, and the only fairly cheap option I could find online was a 16 by 24 inch one, but it came in a pack of three, so I threw caution to the wind and grabbed that one. I'm sure I can make use of the spare boards for my growing assortment of tools anyway. So for this particular build, you will need the following. A metal pegboard, some smooth timber, a set of 20 or so magnets, some Velcro, a surge protective four-way extension plug, access to a drill, some screws, and your time. So the main meat and potatoes of this build is going to be this metal pegboard set from Von House. I got it from Amazon and I'll pop the link in the description below for you, as with all the other items, just in case you want to make this build too. Now if you can't get hold of this brand in particular, just make sure it's a metal one. I'll explain a little bit later. Now what's also great about this pegboard is it comes with a load of accessories such as hangers and bins that I can potentially use to house a few other bits like empty batteries in need of charging and, and things like that. Now as well as camera batteries, I also want to attach a charger for AA and AAA rechargeable batteries. I also have one of those Sony battery chargers that can charge two batteries on the go and another one from Canon too. So along with all that I also want to attach a USB power outlet so I can charge my phone and my action camera. So first up let's actually go ahead and start laying out where we want it all to be placed before I actually commit to putting it onto the wall. So you can have it laid out however you want, but for the time being, I'm gonna have mine set up like this until I potentially change my mind by the end of this video. Time will tell. Now that I've decided the layout, it's time to build a wooden frame around the pegboard. Now the reason that I'm doing this is that I can hide the majority of all the power cables behind it and it keeps it nice and tidy, I hope. Now I'm using really cheap wood for this, but you can always go for a more expensive type of wood if you prefer. I'm just being a cheapskate, plus I'm not that great at DIY either. So if I mess up, I won't be that upset about it. So the main reason I needed a metal pegboard in particular is because I'm gonna fix these little round magnets to the bottom of the chargers. That way I can easily take them off when I need to bring them on shoots with me. I'm using electrical tape to stick them to the bottom so they won't slide about as much on the pegboard. Plus I don't really want to commit by gluing the magnets to my chargers just yet. I'm a little bit scared. For the Meteor chargers like the USB hub, I reinforced it with Velcro strips to make it stay put. As you can see, I have changed my mind a little bit with the layout of the whole thing, but it's now time to drill some holes and bend out the metal so I can fit the power supply cables to the corresponding chargers. Wish me luck. So I'm also gonna attach this surge protected power strip to the back of the unit so I can plug everything in. And I'm gonna do this using Velcro again. And there you have it. Instead of waiting a day before my shoot, struggling to get everything charged, I can now throw everything on charge straight away as soon as I come home from shoots, in theory. If you enjoyed watching this little build, why not give this video a little like, it all helps. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.